All right. Uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you like how to use the Casio calculator to find the probability for bell shape diagram. So, which is the if you are SPM student, which is the from five chapter eight for the uh for the chapter called probability distribution. So, okay. So I I will demo using this model of calculator, which is five seven O E S plus from Casio and I find this calculator actually is quite useful. Alright, so how do we find the probability for bell shape diagram? Okay, this is how. So the first step is you have to make your calculator into uh, go into the statistic mode. That means you will need to see a word state on the screen above here. So what I will do is I will actually press the mode button so when you press the mode, mode button, basically you will see a stat, which is number 3 here. So then I will tap number 3 in my calculator. And then after that, what I will do is I will tap the AC to go back to the main menu. I mean to go back to the main screen, something like that. So I will tap AC. So after I tap AC, you can clearly see that on the above here, you will see the word stat there. Alright, so in order to find the priority for bell shape diagram, uh, what you need to do is you have to focus on the yellow words uh, above the one here. Do you see a state here? So in order to tap the yellow words, so what I will do is I will tap the shift and one. So I will tap the shift with the one together and then I will go into that. So this is what happens. I tap shift together with the one. Alright, then you can see I have six options here. So in order to do that, you know basically you have to choose distribution. So which is number five. So I will type five. And then you will have uh, four options here. P, Q, R, and T. So in this video, we will ignore about T. P, T basically is uh, something to help you to find the exact value. But then you will need to key in your X, your mean, and your standard deviation by yourself. So this, I uh, will not cover the number four in this video. So basically, I will teach you how to use the P, Q and R. So basically, if you ask me, I will say just you one of it. But if you want to know what is the difference between them, then I will show you. Alright, so over here, you will see some diagram. Okay, this this diagram actually tell you uh, like how the P, Q and R works. Okay, so for, okay, so Let's have a look on the P first. Okay, this is PT. So for P, what happened is, okay, when you tap the P, basically, your shaded area on this bell shape diagram is toward the, uh, is toward to the left hand side. So you can see, I from the line T here, which is your Z value, all the way to to my left hand side. So in your question, you will see something like probability is z is less or equals to t. But in this topic, definitely you should know less equal or less is the same thing in this topic. There's not much different for them. All right. So, okay, I will skip the q. Then we focus on r. Okay, r is just something like totally opposite with the p because r is from the line t here all the way to the right hand side mean you go to the positive side so for p is all the way go to the negative side so the, you understand the direction is quite important and then you can see the red color shaded region here to uh, i try to shape myself to actually help you understand better so for r over here basically what happened is uh in your question you see something like probability z is bigger than t or bigger and equals to t all right, so this is a difference between P and R. So basically, P is to your left hand side, R is to your right hand side. Okay, then we go to the Q. Q is something quite special. So the value of Q over here is basically from the zero up to T. So so when you trying to find the the Q value here, basically you always start from zero to either positive or negative size, uh, negative value of t. So, I mean, in the question, you will see uh, the sim the inequality, something look like this. The z is between 0 and t. All right, so, okay, right now I have a like, quick question for you because in order to make sure you can fully understand what I'm saying, so I give you a quick question, something like, where is the area if I type 
P 1.2, Q 1.2, and R 1.2. So you're trying to imagine by yourself where exactly the area, and I use the same value because I actually hope you can fully understand. So this is the reason why I purposely use the same value. All right, so, okay. So of course I will explain to you. So basically, if I tap P 1.2, this is what happened. Okay, so if P 1.2, you can see basically is from the, okay, this is Z value line. So my 1.2 basically is the value on, on the so-called X asset here. So it's from zero to positive 1.2 and then get up to 3.9, something like that. So here is the negative zone. So that means it's from zero to negative 3.9. So if my t value over here, if I type in my calculator like 1.2, which I will get 0 0.8849, 0 0.8849, you should know this is probability. Probability basically is the area of the shaded region because the whole bell shaped shaded area will be 1. 0 0.5 for one side and 0 0.5 for the other side. They are totally symmetric. So what happened here is when I type p1.2, that means it's from the 1.2 all the way to my left hand side so you can see this area basically is 0 0.8849 okay so if go to the r here r1.2 is from the positive 1.2 all the way to the right hand side so you can see this area definitely is less than 0 0.5 all right so if you trying to find the value of p using the r you just trying to imagine you use 1 to minus 0 0.1151 you actually, you can easily get this value, which is the 0 0.8849. All right, then, then we go to the Q here. Q basically, when I say Q 1.2, you can see Q is basically, is from 0 to 1.2. So the area between, which is the uh, shaded area, is basically 0 0.3849. So if you want to get the value of R just now, the R 1.2, what you can do is you just use the 0 0.5, which is uh, which is half of it. You just, I mean, you just use the 0 0.5, which is the half of it, to minus 0 0.3849. You should be able to get you should be able to get this area right. So this area basically is the 0 0.1151. This is a relationship between them. Okay. So before I end this video, I just want to go to the one last part is. What happens is when your T value is negative, basically it's the same idea. So, okay, so if your P is negative 1.2 here, so basically you can see this exact value line, which is your X asset, and you just go to the negative 1.2 and then all the way to your left hand side. So when R is negative 1.2, it's just the opposite of P. So basically from negative 1.2 here all the way to your right hand side. And then if for Q over here, it, you can find out this value actually is same with the value just now because just now it's just positive 1.2, 0 to positive 1.2. Now it's like uh, negative 1.2 to 0 because this diagram is totally symmetric. So you, sh you will get the same value here. All right. So I hope this short video can actually like help you understand about how to use this Casio calculator to actually find the value. And and yeah, you might you might curious like how do, how do I get all the value just now? I'm not using the table. So I basically what I will do is something like this. I just type shift one, which I will go into this this uh menu. So basically I type five for distribution. If I choose P, then I just type 1 for P. So then if I want 1.2, I just key in 1.2. You want gross bracket or you don't want the gross bracket, it doesn't matter. Then you, if I gross bracket, you can see this is the value I show you just now, 0 0.8845, I mean 49. All right, so basically what uh, you just need to take four decimal place, should be more than enough. So if you want the value is negative, you just add the negative here and then you press equal you actually you get the other side because p is basically is from the t value all the way to to your left hand side so if what if you want to go for r you just do the same thing again shift one 
and then you choose number five and then if you want r you just choose r which is three and then you just type r 1.2 so r 1.2 the value is quite small because if you if you can understand what i'm saying just now basically is from the 1.2 all the way to your right hand side so if i type r negative 1.2 basically you can see the value is very big because it's from negative zone all the way to all the area on the positive zone of course of course in order to fully understand about this bell shape diagram thing you make sure you check out my probability distribution video i i do think i make a basic video for you all right so anyways thanks for watching i hope you can understand what i'm saying about the calculator technique for this topic